125 pigeons, 80 pheasants, 40 ducks, 4 deer. Not your everyday supermarket shopping list, but that is what one Yorkshire mum has been feeding her family for the past year after choosing to shun all meat that she hasn't shot and killed herself. Wow. And as she encourages others to incorporate game meat into their day-to-day -day cooking, Rachel Carey joins us now. You don't look like someone that goes out and shoots your own food, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> There's an image, isn't there, that you think if someone's going to go out hunting their own food, they're going to be very rugged, yeah. they're going to be very sort of, you know, uh, ready Elm to get out foot. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring <laughs> camel. Very glamorous. You're the glamorous face of hunting. Um, I, wouldn't agree. I wouldn't say I'm the glamorous face of hunting. It's... Um probably the reason I'm here, because really there are thousands of people um, doing just what I'm doing um, and living the field to fault lifestyle. So hang on, so you live in Yorkshire. Yes. Do, you just, do you just go out into the moors and do your hunting? No, so the way it works in the UK, you have to have the permission from the landowner. So most of the land that I actually go out on is um, the local farmers. So I, I'm really lucky to have permission on the land just behind my house. Mm. So that's where a lot of my my, um, you could say, larder, my, my grocery So you can walk out in the back from. garden and then just start trying to find stuff uh, to, to, to for, for the family. Um, how did it start? When did you first come to the idea of, rather than going down the shops and buying your meat, shooting it and preparing it yourself? So the field to fork concept was introduced really early on. Um, I was seven years old and became vegetarian because I was just really um, absolute avid animal lover. OK. And I just got to that age where I actually realised that pork was a pig, beef was a cow. Mm -hmm. So I became vegetarian, much to my uh, mum's dismay, because she's a very frugal Yorkshire woman. And, you know, what you got on your plate at that point, you ate it. You should eat, yeah. Um, but she supported me. And when I was eight years old, a year later, my dad actually took me rabbit hunting. Oh, wow. OK. So... Dad took me rabbit hunting, taught me how to, um, to rabbit hunt and then taught me how to skin and butcher the rabbit. And how were you... At age eight? At eight years Well, old. interesting, as an animal lover, I mean, there's nothing more fluffy and cute than a rabbit. Mm. So how did you remonstrate the two things, the, the, the killing of the rabbit that was this beautiful creature? Well, I think all of the questions that I had about food and about factory farming and, you know, what's on my plate, Mum? How did it get mm. there? Was it happy? You know, was it tried ethically? Was it killed ethically and with respect? Um, and I suppose my dad answered all of those questions by actually taking me out hunting and showing me, showing me, look, you know, this is wild game. It lived a happy life. It's out there, you know, free ranging, eating a natural diet that it's supposed to eat. So it was introduced quite early on. So what was the first thing that you killed yourself? And how old were you yeah. when you did that? Um, I didn't actually start. So I was ferreting with right. rabbits. So it was rabbits um, at eight years old. And as I say, I used to skin butcher them and take them, uh, prepare them for mum's rabbit stew. Now, the interesting thing was I was a vegetarian at this <laughs> point but would happily eat mum's rabbit stew. So I don't know if there's going to be a name we can find to describe... Yeah, a rabbitarian. <laughs> yes, <laughs> someone who only eats what they hunt. So if you're going out now how often do you go out so i have a rule when my freezer stocks start getting low it's time to go out and obviously saw something that will depend greatly as well on the species so if it's a small species of deer because we actually have six species of deer in the yeah. uk so some of them are non-native so what about this deer? i mean that's yeah. that's a Could big I... animal that you've managed to get there so that's a roe deer um have you had to stalk that yeah and they are native so Hunting is exactly that, you're stalking. So the animal, the, the whole point is that the animal never knew you were there. If it, if it does, it would run. Can I ask, how, how do you know that you've, you've shot them and it's not hurt them? Because you want to do this because you, think, you say it's better um, that they're in their wildlife and in their own environment, but how do you know that this isn't going to be like a more painful procedure for them? Quite simply, you would not take the shot unless you were 100% certain. And also, there's a lot of training involved. I'm not going out there, and neither is anyone who deer stalks or hunts in the UK, um, you know, just, just indiscriminately out there looking for whatever people go through training. So it was a couple of years, mm. quite a few years, before I touched live quarry and I trained. Um, I shoot on the range, so targets, yeah. paper targets, clay pigeons. So you've got a son, Brandon, he's 13 years old. Yes. Does he get involved? Does he come out with you? He's mad keen on rugby. Um, he 
enjoys the eating. <laughs> I do all the hard work, as you can see, yeah. um, and the family enjoys Does he help prepare me. the animals, though? Does he pluck them or...? Yeah, that's kind of our family time, you know, in the kitchen. And it's cool, you get to kind of stand around, chat. And it's nice to... We play Monopoly in I know, Uno. I was going to say, it's a completely different way about it. Yeah, we pluck ducks, pigeons. <laughs> when, when you get together with um, all your friends as well, how many of them do the same thing? So I try and encourage as many friends as I can um, to eat game. It's healthier. It's healthier. Compared to beef, venison is actually less... Uh, has less fat, cholesterol and more protein and more vitamins and minerals. And the same with, in comparison to chicken. And you've actually created your own uh, cookbook, your recipe yeah. book, haven't you? Yeah, I'm so passionate about trying to get, you know, more people to consider game in their diets, in their weekly diets. It's, it's more ethical. The sure. animals have lived a much nicer life. There's certainly Happier. something about the education for the, for, 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 the, for the kids to understand actually what the processes of where the animals come from, where the foods come from, rather than it just being, you know, ready-made and, and comes off a, sort of a freezer in a supermarket, isn't it? Yeah, because otherwise they are just eating exactly what's on their plate without knowing the background yeah. of it. And it's, I, I mean, you remember the horse meat scandal. Mm. None of us really were aware of what we were eating. No. And that scares me a little bit, you know, not to fully understand yeah. what it you is. Know, like some days like. when your freezer's empty and it's getting close to dinner time, do you just go, I'll just get some just sausages. go to the supermarket? I, I, I am going to hold my hand up. I have been guilty of that, but we've eaten game so long in our family now, it just does not taste the same. Game has so much. much more interesting flavour. Natural, yeah. and sure. where chicken is a bit watery and. Amazing. Yes, Rachel, it's so nice to chat. It is. No, thank you. Really interesting as well. It's a great debate as well, uh, you know, going out there and sort I'd, of hunting your honest, own food. I could not do it. It's not your no thing. Way. And I will say that it's not for everyone, but you don't have to hunt to introduce game into your diet. It's available to purchase online. You can actually get fresh game so you delivered can try to it. your door. Yeah, give it a yeah, go. And your local butchers. Lovely stuff, Rachel. Thanks thank for joining you. us. No, thank you for having me.